Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Frontliner YouTube channel where we make sure that we give you an exclusive update based on politics and breaking news and for now we are having a very very interesting story about the untouchable Jimmy Wanjigi, a person who sneaked inside uh, the multi-million house in Mudaiga, his home but he did not, the police officer were not able to arrest him but he was inside his house in Mudaiga estate that caught attention of many people here in Kenya because that was the second time that Jimmy Wanjigi's home have been raided. The first one happened seven years ago and this one happened uh, that just in this month August but police officer did not manage to arrest Jimmy Wanjigi yet. Jimmy Wanjigi was inside his house watching how police were misbehaving with his family, ladies and gentlemen, that even uh, caught the attention of the Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya, that is Honorable Raila Molodinga was there, uh, Kalonzo Msioka was there, Martha Kara was there to see what was going on there, ladies and gentlemen. But unfortunately today, Jim Wanjigi, the businessman who was accused of leading the Gen Z protest in different parts of the country, have arrived at the Nairobi Regional Headquarters for grilling, as you can see the, in the picture that I've just uh, posted there in my YouTube. You can see uh, the hand of Jim Wanjigi had and handcuffed uh, when he was arrested by the DCI of the Nairobi Headquarters, ladies and gentlemen. So, several sources have confirmed that the renowned businessman had been summoned by the police an incident that caught the attention of several Kenyans who took their different social media platform to express the happening of the arrest of the Jimmy Wanjigi because I think that one was a bit good because uh, going to somebody's home and raid that home, uh, destroy many things, destroy properties, destroy somebody's wealth, it's not a good idea of arresting somebody uh, like that one, a billionaire. You know, just need to summon him and he will just come to the police station. But today, Jim Wanjigi have been arrested and let us wait and see what will happen, ladies and gentlemen. And I just want you to watch this clip of the video about how... Uh, have respect. Have respect. No, no, we are ordering. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. How Jim Wanjiki was talking to police officer when they were trying uh, to misbehave with him when they were trying to tell him to get inside his BMW car that was, that was having a number plate that is called GW, Jimmy Wanjigi 090, ladies and gentlemen. So that's the breaking news of the, today that Jimmy Wanjigi have already summoned himself to the police custody. So let us wait and see what is going to happen uh, for the next, because 
this th this issue of accusing Jimmy Wanjigi, it's not even Jimmy Wanjigi himself. This issue started with the uh, Ford Foundation. Miriam Samoto accused them of sponsoring the ongoing protest here in Kenya. They went back and uh, said that oh, Kasamuel, not Kasamuel, Bonface Mwangi and other teams are also sponsoring the ongoing protest here in Kenya. They went further and said that they, are, they have been trailed trying different ways on how they can stop this ongoing protest. They have even tried the abduction, the protest did not end up, but unfortunately today Jim Wanjigi have summoned, him, summoned himself from the police station and let us wait what will court will say because Jim Wanjigi is going to detain for 24 hours for him to be taken to court so that they can they can talk about why the why is it that the police officer arrested Jim Wanjigi? Because Jim Wanjigi have been opening, Jim Wanjigi have been telling the truth and open his mind because he have been said that he have been not sponsoring the Genesis. He have been giving them what just uh, helping them with water, uh, play cards, and uh, releasing people that have been arrested that cannot afford to bail themselves from the prison and those are the things that Jim and Jiggy have been doing. There is nothing else like paying them to go and have a protest in the streets, ladies and gentlemen. So give me your thoughts in the comment section below about Jim and Jiggy arrest of uh, leading the Generation Z protest in different parts of the country here in Kenya. As we know very well that the Jim and Jiggy is also planning to vie for the presidency in the 2027 the awaited election ladies and gentlemen stay tuned and let us meet the next video that is going to be uploaded shortly within no time